So here's where the mechanics get screwed up. Let's get a little more specific now. So wide infrasternal angle. So I have a wide infrasternal angle, meaning my, my, my ribs are stuck. My false ribs are stuck in a bucket handle position, a position of inhalation. So my thoracic diaphragm and then is, is overly flattened. Um, the result of that then typically is I'm going to get a wide infrapubic angle. So as my thoracic, as my thoracic uh, diaphragm flattens, my, my guts need to get pushed down into this infrapubic angle. But we remember from uh, the, these two measures should match. So if they do match, then I've got what's the problem is, is I'm going to get a pelvic floor, then that's going to get in an ascended position. So it's basically smashing guts, right? There's no position for my guts to get, be able to drive there. So there has to be some sort of pressure leak. I'm going to make all sorts of different compensations, but one you might see is someone just take a breath in and get a huge belly expansion because there's no position for their guts to get down, push down into that pubic angle. So you get a driving maybe anteriorly of air expressed that way instead of it being pushed straight down. So wide infrasternal angle, wide, wide infrasternal angle, wide infrapubic angle. These two measures should not match on inhalation.